岁月已经远去，掩饰不住心里的慌乱。尽管已经一把年纪，爱没有界限，每个人都有权利。爱不分高低，就像春风吹拂。我生命就不可惜。But mom, how can you do this? Who's gonna be responsible when something happens? At least the guy will get sentenced to like 10 years. He won't be out until the next ice age. <gasps> Are you serious, Sammy? Of course I am. Of course I'm serious about all this. I wasn't involved though. I was just standing on the sides of this. Mom, you were oh. directly involved in this matter. What do you mean you were just standing on the sides of this? You know that's not how it happened. Oh. Quickly. I need to call your brother, ask where he is. Forget it, I'm not calling him. He's probably in jail. Forget it. So you're not gonna call him? Tiger? How about you? No, it'll stress me out! Hey, 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 hey! Ernest! What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, my son! Mom, I'm telling you now, if you really want to die, then fine. I'll be blunt with you then. If you're gonna die, then I won't live either. See? Here. What is Give it? Give it here. Now look at this. Do you know what's in this bottle? Insecticide! I bought this one on the street. Mom. You can't blame me for doing this. You can't blame me for leaving you alone before you die. Wait, oh, hold on! No! 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 no, no stop! Let it go! Go! No! no. Oh, and die! How could you even think of doing something like this at your age? Do you think it was easy for us to come to where we are now? So you want to die? You all want to die? Then give it to me! No! I'll go first then! Stop give it, it to me! me. Come on! No. Give it to me! Mom! Just... Mom. <laughs> what was your plan? Why can't you just let us live a normal life, huh? Isn't it annoying to keep throwing fits like this? Isn't it annoying? Did I throw a fit? Huh? If mom didn't keep throwing fits, we wouldn't be in this mess! Mom, tell you what, I'll be the first to die then! Wait, no! No! That's enough! Everyone shut up already! Blame me then! It's my fault anyway, I shouldn't have come back! Mom... You don't need to come back. Neither do you, Sammy. I'll go. Wait, Purity. What are you talking about? This is insane. Out of the frying pan, into the fire! Don't make this any worse. Ernest. You should just admit it. What if we were never meant for each other? Let's just get a divorce. Huh? What? What do you mean? Huh? What are you talking about? I thought you were doing just fine. You don't have to change your name. Let's just get a divorce. Where are you off to then? I'll go back to my own home. To my mother. Let's just deal with the paperwork tomorrow. No, just tell me what you want. Ernest, at least try to leave some dignity. Beauty! Please come back! Come back! 
Are you seriously leaving me now, huh? You can't do this to me, Purity. Come on, let's go back home. Let's just What's go back. What's the point Please. of me coming back, Ernest? Everyone's unhappy because of me. What kind of a life is that, huh? But then, you really think leaving is gonna solve anything? Don't say silly things like that, okay? And happiness is only temporary, Ernest, but that's all right. It's something you'll get used to. I think we have to take your mother's advice on this one. I have to go. How many times do I have to tell you? My mother is always throwing tantrums like this, okay? Look, she jumped at the train station today. What else could she possibly plan to do? And don't worry, I don't plan on taking her on a plane. You think any of what you said was funny? Because let me tell you, Ernest, nothing about what you said was funny! I can't deal with this anymore! All right, all right, fine. We're not kids anymore. Let's not throw tantrums. Let's just go home. Let's go. Oh, let's go. go of me! Other people are watching us! We're getting divorced! Why do you care if people see us? The more you keep doing this, the more you'll convince me to just leave you, Ernest! We already agreed on this, didn't we? You're the one who always quits halfway! Then I'm the one who wronged you. I'm going for real this Come time. Come on! You are coming home right now! Let go of me! Well, well, see what happened? You feel good about yourselves? What the heck were you thinking? You've thrown away a peaceful life. I have no reason to live then. Ernest, no! Ernest, 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 Ernest don't it. do it! Come on, Ernest, put that please, down! Stop. Don't, don't do this! Do this. Uh, no, me! No, 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 hey, give that back! Seriously, what were you trying to do? Sammy! Ernest! Don't try and stop me! Only get angry at you! Just let me die! I said let me go! Don't Sammy, just let me die already! No, 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 no! Ernest! Who are you trying to stop me? Ernest! All right, fine, would you just let me go already? Stop doing that! Think about it, Ernest! Stop it! Stop it! You have so much to live for! Let go! Calm down, Ernest! Stop it, Ernest! Come on! Listen up! Mom! Did you drink it? I did. How'd it taste? A bit sweet. This doesn't taste like insecticide. Well, duh! It was just cough syrup! Purity, you're back. Tell me, how's your mother-in-law doing? Is she finally dead? Mom, don't say things like that. But didn't you say she jumped off a train? Didn't she? Please don't talk to me about life or death, okay? I can't take it anymore. Oh, uh, then tell me, what other things are going on over there? Was she hurt anywhere? Did anything else happen to her? Your mother and I became so anxious. We almost went over there to get you back as well. My mother-in-law is fine. Oh. She just cost a huge ruckus over there. Ernest and I already took care of it, so don't worry. Oh. Uh -huh. hmm? Why do you have your bags with you? Are you going on a trip? Dad. Mom. You may not like what I say. But I don't want to be with Ernest anymore. All right, Aaron. What? You stay with our purity. I'm going to have a chat with Mom, her. Mom, please don't stress me out more than I already am. Their family is already playing with life and death. Do you really think what you'll do will make me feel better? Since you're already decided not to be with that man, then why should I keep showing any respect to that rotten old hag? Wait, 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 Alice. You have to calm down. Leave the tantrums to the kids, not us. If you won't stay with him, fine. That's purity's decision, understand? Listen to what she has to say, all right? Huh? Ernest, answer the phone. Hey, Pierre. 
security. Dad, Mom. I don't want to go back to that place anymore. Please don't chase me out of the house. I really can't deal with this right now, please. If you don't support me during these times, then... then I won't know what to do anymore. Come out and eat, please. What is with that girl? How did it get like this, huh? Coming, coming. Ernest. Dad? Huh? Mom? Huh? How's Purity doing right now? What's going on with you two? She's locked herself in her room. Hey, Purity. Please come out. Don't stay inside, please. We can't resolve this if you stay locked in your room. Come on, come out. Please. How do you plan to solve this, then? Turn the gas on, hit a train? How else, then? How else can we solve this, huh? I've had enough of this! I don't get it. Why is it that I always need to crawl and beg just for me to stay in your house? Purity, please don't get mad like this. Please, just listen to me for I'll now. Leave her alone for now. You know I can't do that. Things have to be said. Our daughter has been hurt, can't you see? Don't take this the wrong way, Ernest. You really are a great person. But how come your mother can't be more like you? Hey. Our purity can't bear children anymore. Was this something she had since birth? Of course not. So, in the end, then, it's all our family's fault that this happened. Mom. Dad. I really don't want a divorce. But, 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 but I admit this is my mother's fault. So let me go back and talk to her, and this will be over in a snap. Could you stop trying to fool yourself? Uh, how am I fooling myself? Can you really stand up to your mother? You know you can't do it. You don't have the heart to see her get hurt. <sighs> Ernest, let me tell you what I feel for once, okay? I, I am also human too. I have my own emotions to feel as well, and I don't know how you can stand your mom and your sister's tempers. And, you know, she isn't messing with me right now. She's messing with herself. If you can't take her, then I can't take her either. I'm also a daughter, I'm also a mother, and I also have a job. I have so many things to worry about, and she's been driving me crazy. And I feel so bad for you as well. I can't take that you're still on the fence about this. I have to worry about you too. Forget about it. Let's not talk about it then. I want to stay with my mother, just for a few days. You should take a break too. Just go back home. Ernest, don't worry about it. She's got a bad temper. She says things as they are, you know? After she calms down a bit, everything will be all right, okay? I suppose she should stay here for a while, I guess. But ever since our marriage, she's suffered because of me. Don't say that. I'll walk you out. No need, Dad. It's fine, it's fine. I walked you out because I wanted a word with you about something important. Oh, about what? The kind of person Purity is. After being with her for this long, I'm sure you know how she's like already. Yes, yes. Please, have a seat. I've never seen that girl as angry as she was now. I know that girl. She's got a big heart, and she doesn't usually beg her. I mean, just look at her brother. They're roughly the same age, right? But I've never seen her get mad at Tony. She always backs down. But now that she's forced a divorce, well, she's probably at her limit. 
I understand, I do. Ernest, I only have one daughter. My heart beats for her too. Dad, say no more. I understand what you mean. I let my whole family turn into this mess. So it's my responsibility. It's my fault. Every family has its difficulties, of course. I've lived for so long, so I understand this quite well. Ernest, I understand this is hard for you. It's hard for purity, too. But this marriage can't end a divorce. I know. It won't. Don't worry. Purity. Normally in times like this, I'd keep my mouth shut and let mom and dad worry about this. But I just can't sit still this time around. Hey, Felicia, leave her alone. But if I don't, then it'll be irresponsible of me. Purity, it's not that you don't have a good motive to get a divorce or anything. But if you get a divorce from Ernest and marry again, then it'll be your third time to get married already. Purity. You know that Felicia's right. You don't have to keep putting up with this, you know. Well, at least not by yourself. That's right. You're not in your 20s after all, right? Girls in their 20s would give up everything for the sake of love. But your daughter's so big and she's already going to school. And here you are still being so naive. It's really quite worrying. If you're worried, then I guess go ahead. I want to see something. Don't get involved when adults are talking, dear. Go back to your room. That's unfair. That's right, Mom. She's a member of the family, too. Let's hear her out. Go on, okay, then, okay. Winnie. Go. I don't want Mom getting divorced from Uncle Zheng. But I thought you said you didn't want Mom and Uncle Zheng to get married. But you didn't listen to me. You married him anyway. You think it was easy for me to accept my situation? And now you want to divorce him? How do you think I feel about this? Well, see that? Even the kid knows about this principle. That's right, Purity. Nothing good can come out of not listening to your elders. Don't be so stubborn, huh? It's a good life. Toughen up and live it. Even if she does regret it, what can she do, right? I know that... By me making this decision, I might just add more trouble for everybody. I know it might seem wrong to everyone, but I still want to divorce him. <sighs> Why don't you listen to me anymore? Let me remind you, Purity. Don't think getting divorced for Ernest's sake will make him miss the good times you've had. What if he marries a mistress and has a child with her? How will he remember you then, huh? How can you be so immature, dear? Mom, I have to correct you on that. If he decides to marry again, then it'll be to a wife. It isn't going to be a mistress. That's right, Mom. It's Purity that didn't want him. If he marries again, how is that a mistress? Purity, you've already been through two different men. Do you have any idea how men are like? Hey, you talk as if you know how all men are, as if there isn't a good man out there. Oh, come on. All right, you two stop arguing. Actually, it's very clear to me that ever since I married Ernest, I should have kept living with him. You all saw how good he was to me. He tells me that it's all right that we don't have kids. He said that it's all right. But I know he really wants to be a father. He's been so good to me already. And I've just been so selfish. I should let him go. Let him find his own happiness. If he finds another pretty woman who has a kid too, then that's good. Who cares if he misses me or not? I've thought this through. And to be honest, you don't need to worry about me. I've already decided on this, all right? How can we not be anxious? What'll happen after you get a divorce? That's right. What if you won't have a place to live in anymore? Oh, but that's beside the point. But then, how will we explain it to our family and friends? What'll happen to our dignity afterwards? I can't just tell everyone that it wasn't my daughter who was dumped back then, but it was her who decided to get the divorce instead. Mom. Whether or not I do get divorced, people are still gonna talk and gossip about it. But as long as we know the truth behind the matter, then who cares what people say? Why should we care about them? And besides, this matter is something I've decided for myself and through my own doing. I just hope my own family won't make things any harder than it, than it already is. 
Oh, this daughter of ours. She really does have a screw loose. Purity, I really don't know what else to say about this situation. Then don't say anything at all. But you know, that is a very important thing to ask. If I choose to divorce Ernest, then Winnie won't have any place to live anymore. If mom and dad don't think that it's convenient that I keep living here, then Winnie and I will just have to find some other place to live. I'm not gonna go back to that crappy old house. And you can't just stay at grandma's house. Mom will just live alone then, okay? Purity? Purity? Director, I'm sorry. This is my fault. I'm not a smooth talker like you. I can't drink that much. I pass out after three glasses of wine. I didn't even know when everybody left. You're a real slip up, you know? <sighs> hey now, can't you two stop worrying me for once? Come on, sir. I'm reliable too. Bring me the phone. Okay. Oh. Here, sir. <sighs> oh, hey there. Hey, boss. Manager Shea, hello. Oh, uh, this is me, Ernest. I heard that, uh, things didn't go so well last night. I'm sorry, it was my fault. Well, I'll make it up to you tonight. Call up all your friends. Let's all get hammered tonight, all right? Okay? Okay, the old spot, all right? All right, okay then. All right, 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 right. <laughs> you guys are costing me a fortune. Uh, director, do, do I have to go? What do you think? Who's gonna take me home when I'm drunk? Uh, That's right. Use your brain for once. No, we have to tell him. We have what? to tell no. him. Come on, you know man. we can't hey, tell hey, him. Hey, 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 hey. What's this about? Oh, it's nothing. Nothing. Yeah, it's really nothing. Lynn just got... she got pregnant. You're pregnant? Oh, that's wonderful. But we're still too young and we don't want a kid. So we're planning to get an abortion at the hospital. You're what? Um, uh, if I drink too late, then we won't make it to the hospital in time, What sir? hospital? What are you talking about? What are you planning? Are you too crazy, huh? Are your brains not functioning properly now? Did you two hit your heads on something? Huh? You don't want a kid when you're young and full of life, so when do you want one, huh? When you can't bear one anymore? That's far too late! Try putting yourselves in other people's situations. Don't take this for granted. Uh, sir, what's wrong with you? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just got too excited. Sorry about that. I've already gone through this, and I understand that it isn't easy to want a child. And you know, children don't just come out immediately when you want one. So many couples out there have wanted one for years now. You know that? You know what it means when you're pregnant now. It means the child is fated to be with you right now. It's destiny. You have to keep it, you hear? Right, I'll give you some days off. I'll give you money if you need it too. And if you dare get an abortion, then you two can just get out of here right now. son's doing in there. You can't hear anything just yet. You have to wait till it's four months. Hey, little guy. How are you doing in there? What do you hear then? I can hear him swimming inside you, playing ball, <laughs> chanting slogans. <laughs> the doctor said that Purity got side effects following the miscarriage. And because of that, she may not be able to give birth again. I can't get pregnant. You should marry a woman who can bear you a child. Let go of me! Come on! You're coming home with me right now! Let go of me! Maybe we were never really meant for each other. Let's get a divorce. Um, 
Come on. did you drink, Ernest? Stop oh, throwing goodness. your life away like this. No, oh, hurry it up. I can't believe this. Ernest? Oh. Uh. Ernest. <sighs> there you see. Having a wife means you get water. If you don't have a wife, then tell you what, I'm just gonna go wash upstairs. You should go wash up too, the two of us, husband and wife, you and I should have a chat tonight. then he'll be driving me he could give you a lift no no it's fine i can manage oh, it's all right well, okay see you then all right we're going all right, I'll all see right. You bye then. bye take care what do you think you're doing here isn't it bad that you have no one to pick you up it's all right <sighs> What are we doing, Purity? Come back home with me. Were you drinking? You weren't coming home. I was all alone. Of course I'm gonna drink. Do whatever you want. Hey, hey. We're not getting any younger. Let's not mess around. You took it too seriously. I wasn't pretending. I did take it seriously. Get the marriage certificate tomorrow. Let's work on the paperwork. It's inside the first drawer by the bedstand. Is that what you really want? I don't want anything. I just want to get divorced. We were going to do so anyway, so why wait any longer? What do you mean we're going to do so anyway? Listen to me. I won't accept it. Please don't go. You told me back then that you didn't want to be stuck in the middle, right? Didn't you? But look what happened now, you're making me get stuck in the middle! My mother makes me angry, but I can't do anything about her. She is still my mother, don't you get that? Why are you messing with me? Because I want to mess with you, I'm doing this to you on purpose, what's wrong? Trudy, please. We're not kids anymore, please try and calm down. Please, come back home. As long as we're together, mom can't do anything about it! Don't look for me at the company.
Mom. Sammy, what are you doing here? My sister-in-law's left us. My brother's ignoring you, so why can't I keep you company? <sighs> but aren't I always the bad guy here? It's just something that I'm going to have to deal with. Doesn't matter if he ignores me. You really want Ernest to divorce her, don't you, Mom? <gasps> what are you talking about? I don't remember saying anything like that, Sammy. They're the ones that brought it up themselves. Hey, Mom. You're still trying to absolve yourself of the blame, even up to now? That's enough of that. Save this kind of talk for somewhere else. Your sister-in-law chose to let this happen. And as your elder, how could I do nothing? All right, all right. Do whatever you want, then. I don't have the right to comment. But I can't side with you this time. I mean, I've already caused Purity way too much trouble at this point, Mom. I... I feel so nasty already. I'm gonna have to take Purity's side for now. My brother's situation is really tough. I'm a failure. I'll just observe. <sighs> then just observe, then. How's Ernest been doing? Well, Mom? I heard that your sister-in-law... No. Purity Ann called him a few times. She told him to get the divorce papers, but he hung up on her. He's afraid that your sister... Oh, no. That Purity Ann would come looking for him. He keeps on hiding. It's making me anxious. If he keeps hiding, nothing will happen. And you still think it's not your idea? Then what would you have me do then? Hey now, Mom. Why... Why don't you just think about other plans to do by yourself? Piss off! Don't give me that! Don't yell at me then! I'm just observing after all. Then just give me an idea. I can't let this drag out any longer. And besides, it's already this big. The sooner it's over, then it's better. Everyone can relax then, right? It'll be a lot easier for everyone. Yeah, it'll be easy for everyone. Ernest blamed it all on me, and now look what happened. He won't blame it on you, don't worry. No, forget it. I don't want to get involved. Then just hear out my plan, okay? This is what I'll do. I'm gonna ask Purity Yang out and have a chat with her. What will you tell her then? Does she really want to have a divorce? I'm gonna talk to her about that and how we can get your brother to agree. You can just do whatever you want. Don't tell me about it. I won't comment either. All right, Mom? You rotten little brat. So what if you help me think of an idea? You make my blood boil, child. Hey, you, get back here! Oh, hey, sorry, you two, but we're not open. Then why is your door wide open? We have some family matters to discuss. Just come back some okay, other time. Okay, we understand. Come on, let's go. Okay, okay. Please come again. Anyways, I'm sure one day... You'll end up regretting this, too. Let's talk about oh. it then when the day comes. Oh, uh, hey, hey, Purity's hey. here. Purity, sit over here. Purity, sit down, sit. Go, go, go. Come here, sit down. Oh, thank you. Tiger, get a drink. Right, right. Hurry, get some coconut water for Purity. Thank you. Sure thing. Purity. I really owe you a lot, you know? Don't say that. Don't worry about it. <sighs> it's because... Ernest doesn't want a divorce that it had to come to this. You've really been through a lot. Are you in a rush for this? I've already convinced myself for this. I'm pushing through with this. And Ernest knows he can't stop me. Don't worry about it. Hey now. Oh dear, what can I say? Purity, let me just tell you. Listen. And listen good. I'm really grateful. I mean it. What kind of person haven't I seen in my life? I've never met anyone like you. 
You know, on the outside, Purity, you seem careless. But deep down inside, you're genuine. You always think about others. And I know exactly how good you are. So why would I? Want you and Ernest to separate? But we both know why, don't we? So let's not say it then. And let me just tell you. I'm sorry for what I did. Mom. Let's not talk like this. If you have something to say to me, then just say it. Tell it straight. Okay. I'll get straight to the point then. You're a straightforward woman. So let's not beat around the bush. Purity. I really don't have any ideas anymore, and that's why I called you. You want a divorce, but Ernest doesn't. It can't keep dragging on like this, and we can't just make you two suffer, can we now? He won't listen to me. He won't listen to anything that I have to say. And that boy used to always listen to me. Maybe he really is rebelling now. If you really want a divorce, Purity, the idea has to come from your end. You're being too demanding, Mom. <gasps> Who said you took a listening on us? Get out of here. It's none of your business. Get back to the kitchen. Mom. I want to say something. This whole thing is all my decision. I willingly went to divorce him. I just wouldn't have thought that it would drag on this long and that you'd keep waiting. I'm sorry about that. But you should be aware that I can't just get a divorce all by myself. When I look for Ernest, he won't see me. It's giving me a rough time. Be ready. Very well, then. Let me arrange a meeting for you, too, then. You two go on and have a good talk. That boy will surely listen to you. Out of line! Oh, pipe down! Babbling here and there. Can't you two shut up? Get out of here, will you? Fine, let's get going. Let her do what she wants. She'll regret it sooner or later. So what do you plan to do, Purity? Just say the word. To be honest with you, I really... I really haven't been treating you all that well. You really are a good woman, Purity. Whichever home you'll end up in will be very lucky. But you know how difficult this is turning out to be. I have no other choice. I know that, Mom. I understand what you mean. I'll let you arrange it then. You may not know about this, Purity, but he comes home every single night drunk. He's not the artist that I used to know. He never stops drinking, and it breaks my heart to see that. Purity, please come home with me tonight. Let us wait. For my son together. Is that okay? Yes. I'll wait for him with you. Purity, here you go. Here, have some fruit, okay? Thank you. Uh, um, you want to watch some TV? It's fine, I'll just wait over here. You go and rest.
我用人心留你在身边，却还是忘了你模糊的脸。的从前，粉碎了将来那一天，我只剩下勇气在身边，用尽了。Hey, it's me, Ernest Zheng. Ernest Zheng, don't you recognize me? Ernest Zheng? Yeah. 无论夜再黑。Thank you so much, classmate. Why are you so polite? You're not only my classmate, you know. You're also the woman of my dreams. Huh? Did you say something? We're old friends. We're also old friends, right? Right. 想忘记你影子，却挥之不去。啊！怎么你怎么了？ Let me rub it some more. I'm fully healed now. 那些美好，怎么就变成昨天？无论夜再黑，掩饰不了发霉的纪念。想忘记你影子，却挥之不去。啊，怎么你怎么了？我又怎么了？那些美好，怎么就变成昨天？总以为你就在那里，忘了时间。挽留不息，我用人心留你在身边，却还是忘了你模糊的脸，颠覆了我们的从前。将来那一天，我只剩下勇气在身边，用尽了力气，却还在思念。无论夜再黑，掩饰不了发霉的纪念，想忘记。思念。